What's up, freaks? We're getting set up for 615 full hour weight loss boot camp kickboxing session. It's gonna be a full hour. I have a couple bags set up behind me, but I will be punching a lot of it in the air as well. You'll see some freaks behind me on the bag. So if you have a heavy bag, perfect. If you have gloves, perfect. But even if you don't, you can still get along without it. You could get a full crazy total body workout even just in the air as you can see that's what we be doing most of the time i'll be jumping back and forth between the bags and the air but you don't need any equipment if you want to add a little challenge you can hold little tiny dumbbells in your hands water bottles in your hands but you don't even need that you really don't even need it we're going to get started here in about 30 seconds give you a second to get your gloves on give you a second to get logged in and we are gonna get rolling we are live on facebook instagram MySpace, all the cool places where all the cool kids hang out. <coughs> we are going to get started. Thank you. So listen up how this is going to go today. We're going to get warmed up, go over the basic punch in a second. But before we even do that, just listen to the rules of the game for today. Here's the rules of the game. Any combo we throw today, whatever punch it lands on, it ends on. So if it ends on a straight, you're going to finish with an opposite side kick. If your combo ends with a hook, you're gonna finish with an opposite side elbow. If your combo ends with an uppercut, you're gonna finish with an opposite side knee. So for instance, if your combo ends with a straight right, you're gonna finish with a left kick. If your combo ends with a right hook, you're gonna finish with an opposite side left elbow. If your combo finishes with a left uppercut, you're gonna finish with an opposite side right knee. We're gonna go through all that here in the warm-up. If you have a bag, whatever you have, we're gonna be hitting, doing this in the air so you can get it down with just single punches so you could get used to it. Whatever punch you finish the combo with, you're gonna finish with an opposite side strike. Straights go with kicks, hooks go with elbows, and uppercuts go with knees. So let's start our basic punch, our one, just to get us warmed up. Our one is our straight left. So if we're throwing a straight left, what should we, what should we add on? A right front kick. Right kick, look at that. Doesn't have to be a front kick. I'm just doing a front kick in the air. If you have a bag, you can do a roundhouse kick. So our combo is just one. So that means it's ending on a straight left. So it's gonna go opposite side kick, simple stuff. So let's just stick with that one. One, right kick, easy stuff. Straight left, boom, with the right kick. Straight left, boom, right there. Straight left and right kick. We're just loosening up. You're in the air. Even if you have a bag right now, you're in the air and you're not standing right behind the person kicking them in the butt. You just kicked me in the ass. Kick, punch, and a kick. All right, our combo is gonna be a two. Our two is our straight right. You're pivoting on this right foot, turning your right hip, so what are we adding? Left front kick. Left kick, look at that. If, if an eight-year-old could pick this up, the first time hearing this, this workout's never been done before, he's never done it before, he has no idea what this work it is, and he picked it up like that, no reason you can't do it. So straight right, left kick. It doesn't have to be a front kick, in the air it's a front kick. We'll just call it a left kick. So straight right, you can switch step or just go right into it. So you could be here, pivot on this right, switch your stance and kick with that left leg. Or you could just boom, boom, kick with that lead leg. Whatever works for you. Light on your feet, keep those hands up. So it's a straight right, which is a two, left kick. Straight right is two, boom, left kick. Right there. All right, we're going to our three. Our three is our left hook. Again, this is just a refresher to go through your basic punches, your basic strikes, so you know exactly what we're doing and also how to add on the strikes after. So a left hook, what are we adding? A right elbow. Opposite side elbow, right elbow. So right here's just left hook, boom, right elbow. Reset, hands up, elbows in tight to your ribs, bounce your step, rhythm, boom, boom. So it's a left punch, right elbow. The elbow can come straight across or even slash it downward. So it's a three, boom, elbow. Three, elbow, bam, just like that. Boom, boom, there it is. Hands up, breathe it out. Light on your feet, bam, bam, slash it. All right, let's go to a four. We know it's gonna be opposite side elbow, so left elbow. Four is our right hook, right hook punch. Bam, left elbow, chain them together. Use your abs, your core, your obliques, your waist. Boom, boom, and reset. After each one, bouncing your step, flow. Hook, bam, slash. And reset. Light, smooth, rhythm, bounce, flow, and then boom, boom. Slash it, slash it. Boom, boom. Right hook, left elbow. 
slash that elbow in there. Let your body throw the punches, these hooks, you're turning. Elbows, it's your body is throwing those strikes, not just your arms. Your body's using your arms as a weapon. So let's go. Right hook, left elbow. One more, one more. Right there, simple stuff. All right, we're gonna go with our five. Our five is our left upper cut. What are we adding? A right knee. Right knee, boom, look at that. I literally just said those rules one time so far. One time, and little freak show already picked it up. One time, left upper, right knee. Because so, remember, if it ends in an uppercut, we go with the opposite side knee. Straights go with kicks, hooks go with elbows, and uppers go with knees. So right now we're on a five, which is left uppercut, right knee. We're making a combination. Move around between. Don't just stand in place and just do this and this. Arm and leg. That's not an uppercut. You should be here. Flow, rhythm, bounce. A little intensity. And drive that knee in. Crunch. Drive the knee in. Crunch to the upper. Boom. Boom. Right knee. There's a five. Five is your left upper and a right knee. Hands up. Boom. Boom. Let's go right to our six, which is our right uppercut. Right uppercut. Left knee, bam, vicious strikes. These are for close range strikes. Right upper, left knee, that's your six. Six is your right uppercut. Six, right knee. Six, right knee, boom. Six, knee. Bounce, flow, six, knee. Time, shake it out, we're still just getting warmed up. Stretch your shoulders out, stretch for a second or two. Fling it open, slap the person behind you. Catch the other side, just for a second or two. Getting your blood flowing. Get your heart rate up. Bring it up one, one more time each side. And let's go to quad stretch. So hit a quad stretch, then a quad stretch, then a knee hug, and knee hug. Wanna get those hips loosened up, quads and legs and hips loosened up. A little more for all the kicks and knees that you're gonna be throwing. And all the pivoting and bouncing and footwork you're gonna be doing. Quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, Knee hug, keeping it moving, keeping it stretching, getting ready to work. All right, we're gonna add out a car. After each group, each round, we're gonna be doing a quick cardio little burnout set. So all we're gonna do right here is four mountain climbers and then four run and punch. Mountain climbers on the ground for one, two, three, four, come up, four run and punch. Let's do it, three, two, one, go. Four mountain climbers, so hit the floor. For one, two, three, four, come up for running in place for four, run and punch. Mount climbs for four. Real quick. Four punch right away, right back down. Getting nice and warmed up. Getting that blood flowing. Heart rate elevated. Body temperature up. By the cold warming up. Body temperature should be up there. Should already be breaking a little sweat, just in this little bit of movement. If you're moving the right way. Do it, keep rolling. Up and pop, 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 pop. Back down, four climbers. And time. Shake that out. Shake it, forward shoulder circles. Still just getting loosened up. We are just getting started. Forward shoulder circles, backward shoulder circles, in and out. Keep it loose, stretch it, getting started, getting rolling. All right, we're gonna go to some two punch combos. Same game, don't forget, the combo ends in a straight, we add a kick. If it ends in a hook, we add an opposite side elbow. If it ends in either uppercut, we add an opposite side Knee. All right, let's do it. So we're starting with two punch combinations here. Keeping it simple, we're gonna start with a one, two. One is our straight left, two is our straight right. Don't forget if you're on Facebook, that everything here is opposite, mirror. This is my left hand, this is my right hand. Get your stance, get your hands up, and a one, two, which means left kick, opposite side kick. One, two, kick. Hands up. If you have a bag, you can start hitting the bag now. One, two, or you can just hit the air. You're gonna get almost as good of a workout. Sometimes I get more workout in the air. You have to pull your punches and control your balance a little more. Works the body totally differently. So it's one, two, opposite side kick. You finish with a straight right. One, two, 
kick. Left kick. Straight, straight. Kick. Hands up in between. Bounce. Flow. Rhythm. Boom. There it is. High energy. Straight punches. Hard kick. Reset. Elbows in tight. Boom. Hands up. Reset after each combo. You can see that freaks back behind me on the bags. Hanging bag, stand up bag. Find what works. Boom, boom. Bam with that kick. Hands up. Rhythm. One more, one more. One, two. Left kick. Time. We're going right away. Right down the line. We're going to three, four. Going with our hooks. So it's three, four. Left elbow. Boom. Simple combo. Let's do it. Let me get a little closer to this one because you don't need to see the legs on this. Because Facebook is cut from the waist up. Long ways. Instagram can see the whole head to toe. Three, four. Left elbow. So let it chain. Let it flow together. And then recover. Regroup. Recover. Put down in the comments if you're watching this live. Where are you watching from? If you're watching replay, put replay into the comments. Boom! Hands up. So that's a three, which is a left hook. A four, which is a right hook. Then a opposite side left elbow. As we finish with the right hook, we're going to add that left elbow in. Hands up. Elbow. Boom. Slash that elbow in. Hands up. Boom, boom. Slash. And recover. Regroup. On your balls of your feet. Bounce in your step. Boom, boom, boom. Tons of core work, oblique work going on here. Huh, huh. Whoa! Three, four, elbow, yes! Couple more, couple more, a few more, let's roll! So it's left hook, right hook, left elbow. Chain it together. Slash that elbow in there. Left hook, right hook, left elbow, bam! Vicious! One more! Boom, boom, bam, time. And coming up, the combo is gonna be five, six. So that's five with left uppercut, six right uppercut, which means we're adding left knee. Going in three, two, one, let's roll. Five, six, left knee. That's left upper, right upper, left knee. Left upper, right upper, left knee, boom, boom. Knee. Left, right. Knee. Five, six. Opposite side knee. We're ending with that right uppercut, so we're adding in opposite side knee here. The rules of the game, the rules of the workout. Laws of the land for today. Left upper, right upper, left knee. Get those abs into it. I'm already soaking wet, sweating. Keep moving. Keep rolling. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Hands up. Low. Bam, bam. Boom. That knee in there. One more. Time. Next combo is going to be a 2 1. 2 is our straight right. 1 is our straight left, which means right kick. 2 1, right kick. 2 1, right kick. Watch the little freak show up here. You can do front kicks, so I'll be in the back on the bag. 2 1, opposite side kick. Four, three. So we're hitting two punch combos. Reverse of the first few we did. So we're going to be on four, three. That's right hook, left hook. That's four, three. 
bam, right elbow, drop in the hammer. Four, three, right elbow. Reset, tons of weight, obliques and lats into these punches. Four, three, right elbow, yes. Bounce around in between. After each combo, don't just go right to the next combo. Get your rhythm, get your balance back, get your flow, get your center back, then sh -sh -sh. bounce and flow. Boom, 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 right elbow, hands up. Elbows in, chin tucked, breathe. Sh -sh -sh. Bounce in your step, keep flowing, keep rolling. Sh -sh -sh. Fly, let them fly, slash those strikes in there. Two more, two more. Yes, last one, last one. Time, shake them out. So we got six, five coming up. Six, five. Six is our right upper, five is our left upper, which means right knee. Six, five, right knee. Ready? Hold on, hold on. You're there to demonstrate. Not all this, this, this Russian folk dancing or whatever's going on up here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Hello. Are you ready to punch? Ready to punch? Let's go. Six, five, right knee. Six, five, right knee. Hips forward. So you see them pushing your hips forward. Let's do it. Six, five. Bam, and reset. Like if you are in the air, I want you to really go hard and harder than you're going on the bed, creating the resistance in the air. Strong knee, strong knee, power coming from the hips. Don't just go lift your leg and do a punch. You're not gonna feel it. You gotta kind of almost lean back, bam, from the hip. And reset. Join us. Again, bam, bam, and we sit light on your feet, hands are up, you have that fighter position, right, six, five, boom, crunch, crunch, all out, always stuck in stance, bouncing around, moving around, if you're on the bag, use different sides of the bags, Attack it. Breathe out with each punch. A little bounce, a little rhythm. Resetting. And time. That finishes the two punch combos. All right. We're going to go right into some three punch combos. Same game, same rules apply. Just a few different three punch combos. So we're starting with simple. One, two, three. One is a straight left, two is a straight right, three is a left hook, which means we finish with... Right elbow. Bam, right elbow, because you ended with a left hook, finish opposite side, elbow. Let's do it, one, two, three. Right elbow, going to three, two, one, boom. One, two, three, right elbow. Mash it in there. Have any questions, comments, put them down below. We'll check them on the breaks, even though we don't really take breaks. One, two, three, right elbow. Yeah, a lot of people. One, two, three, right elbow. Reset. Yeah, one is a straight left, two is a straight right, three is your left hook, right elbow, opposite side elbow, whatever we finish the combo on. One, two, three. Give it those feet, turn the hips. One, two, three. Bam! Smash it down. Smash it. How to strike at close range. That's what the last combo just was. Those. Elbows, knees, uppercuts, it's all close range. So we went for those uppercuts to knees. That was close range, that was clinching range. 
Right now, we're a little further away, but the hook is mid, and then you're leaning in for that elbow, which is the close range strike. One, two, three, bam. Hands up. Low, bounce, getting some work in. Burning some calories. Yes, we're getting some real techniques in. We're focused on keeping your hands up. Proper technique, but we're looking to get work. We're looking to get a workout. We're looking to get some hard training in. We're looking to burn some calories. We're looking to get in shape. Kill some fat. Hands up, straight, straight, hook, elbow. One more. Time. All right, we're gonna go with a two, three, four. So it's gonna be a two, straight right. Three, left hook, four, right hook, left elbow. Two, three, four, left elbow. Let's do it. Two, three, four, elbow. Straight right, left hook, right hook, left elbow. Keep the body shifting. Moving your hips, shifting your weight into each strike. Pivoting your feet. It's a flow, a four strike combo. Go, 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 go. Don't hesitate after the three punches and pause before the elbow. It's literally bam, 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 bam. Each move is set up the next move. Set in between combos. Two more. Two, three, four, elbow. Ah. We are going up right down the line. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. So it's left hook, right hook. Left upper, which means right knee. Question, should be targeted for the human face for an effective hit. Heads up, you're talking about for sport or for self-defense. Big difference. Let's do it. Never gonna hurt with the jaw and the temple. If you're talking about serious strikes, you're talking about throat, eyes. All right, let's do it. So you're on three, four, five, right knee. Reset. Three, four, five, right knee. Three, four, five, right knee. Left, right, left upper, and then bam, right knee. Let's do it. Don't wait for me. You are leading this combo. Hands are up, elbows tucked in. Resetting, going all out each time. Little bounce, little step in. You gotta get that breathing control. Inhale, exhale. Throughout the whole time, don't hold the breath. Stepping back a little bit so everybody can see me. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Resetting where you have to. Strong knee, strike, bam. Really keep that weight on those hooks. And on. One more for this segment. We have four, five, six which means we're adding in a left knee. Because you're ending on a left uppercut, or sorry, right uppercut, so we're adding an opposite side knee. So it's four, five, six, left knee. Going in three, two, one, bam, smash it. Smash it. Four, five, six, left knee. Four, five, six, left knee. Hands up, hands up. Strong 
Bounce and flow. Hands up. Four, five, six. Left knee. Right down the pipe. Four, five, six. Left knee. Hook, upper, upper. Boom. Left knee. Drive it in there. Reset. Hands up, bouncing your step. Reset after each combo. Keep flowing. Four, five, six. Knee. Boom. Two more, two more. Last one. Time. It's the end of that segment. We're going to finish the cardio set combo from cardio to punch. It's going to be squat thrust to plank and punch. Squat thrust to plank and punch. So bottom position, you're going to be hitting two punches. So you're going to squat down, jump back, punch, punch, jump back in, stand up. Squat thrust, plank and punch. Watch her in the background. Going in three, two, one, and go. She's going to be hitting the bag. So that down position is two straight punches from the push-up position. And then jump your feet in, stand up straight, hands back to guard when you come up. Punch, punch, and up. Every time you're down there, do a two different two punches. One time do left, right. Next time do right, left. Next time do left, left. Next time do right, right. Mix it up. The squat thrust. It's a plank and punch. Combining. Let's roll. Jump back there. Down, out, punch, punch, in, up to guard. Down, out, punch, punch, up, hands up. Squat down, jump both feet back. Mix up with two punches you do each time. Sometimes left, right, sometimes right, left, sometimes right, right, sometimes left, left. Go one more, one more, one more. And time for that round. All right, that finished our three punch combinations. All right, we're gonna go into some straights. These are gonna be progressive, so I need you to pay attention. We're gonna start with just straight punches. This is your chance to catch your breath if you need it. You need to hydrate, this is your chance. So we're gonna start with just straight punches, right? We start with one punch on straights. One, and that's a combo. So what kind of kick am I doing? Right yeah. kick. Then I'm gonna go two straights, which means left kick. Then I'm gonna go three straights, which means right kick. So I'm gonna progressively add one more rep to the straight punches. It's until we get to 10. And don't forget, each one we finish with the opposite side kick. So each set's gonna be the opposite kick. So it's gonna be one, right kick. One, two, left kick. One, two, three. Right kick. Get it? Get it? We ready to roll? Put a thumbs up if you got it. Or you need me to explain it again. This is your chance to catch your breath. Because this is going to be a fast paced round. We're going all the way up to 10 with the straights. All the way up to 10 with the hooks and elbows. All the way up to 10 with the uppers and knees. And we're repeating that twice. It's a whole lot of reps. A whole lot of punches. A whole lot of kicks. Punches, knees, and elbows. Let's roll. Start with our one straight punch. Start with the left hand. So, bam, and right kick. All right, two straights. Left kick. Three straights. Right kick. Four straights. Just alternating which kick you go. Five straights. Right kick. Six straights and left kick. Seven straights. Right kick. Eight straights. So the, the even you end with a left kick, the odd you end with a right kick. Simple stuff. Nine. And ten. Left kick. All right, same game with the hooks and elbows. One hook. Opposite side elbow. 
Reset. Two hooks. Opposite side elbow. Three hooks. Opposite side elbow. Four hooks. Five hooks. Six hooks. Elbow. Seven hooks. Right elbow. Eight hooks. Left elbow. Nine hooks. Right elbow. Ten hooks. Left elbow. We're going with uppers. Uppers right. and knees. So, we know it. The uppers goes with knees, right? So it's going to be left upper, right knee. Left upper, right upper. Left knee. Left, right, left. Back to right. And you're adding on, right? One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bam, winner. Winner, who's your winner? All right, time. We're gonna repeat that entire circuit Starting with one, one straight punch. Working our way up to 10. Sticking with the theme, sticking with the rules of the day, adding in the opposite side strike of the side you finish on. So we're gonna start one straight. We ready, one straight, right kick. Three, two, one, go. One straight, right kick. Two straights, left kick. Three straights. Left kick, four straights. Oh, I did one wrong. Left kick, five straights. Right kick, six straights. Left kick, seven straights with right kick. Eight straights with left kick. Nine straights with right kick. Ten straights. With left kick. Boom. High. All right, we got hooks and elbows coming up. Start with the one elbow. Left side. We're starting left side the whole time. I'm sorry, left hook. So with the left hook, one hook. Right elbow. Two hooks, left elbow. Three hooks, right elbow. Boom. Four hooks, left elbow. Boom! Five hooks, right elbow. Boom! Six hooks, left elbow. Bam! Seven hooks, right elbow. Boom! Eight hooks, left. Boom! Nine hooks, right. Bam! Ten hooks, left elbow. Boom! And time. We got the uppers coming up with knees. Uppers and knees. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. We are rolling in three, in two, in one. Start with one left uppercut and a right knee. One upper, right knee. Two uppers, left knee. Three uppers, right knee. Boom. Four uppers, left knee. Five uppers, right knee. Six uppers, left knee. Seven uppers, right knee. Eight uppers, left knee. Nine uppers, right knee. Ten uppers, left knee. Boom. That's a round. And right now, 
we have jacks, two plank jacks to two jack and punch. So we squat thrust down to get to the push up position, two jacks jumping your feet apart, jump back in, and then jack punch left, jack punch right. So on those jack punches, when your feet go apart, you strike the bag with the left, pop, in together. Pop when you go apart, in when you come together. So it's two plank jacks, two jack and punch, going in three, two, one, rolling. Squat down, jump back for two jacks, jump forward. Squat down, jump back, one, two. One and two jack punch up. Let's do it. Two jack. Plank jack. Come up. Two jack and punch. Get the bag if you have it. But I'm showing you, you can get tons of work. Even if you don't have a bag. I'm sweating. I'm dying. I'm out of breath. Keep rolling. Couple more, couple more. Squat thrust down. Two plank jacks. Jump up. Two jack and punch. One more. Finish it off. Time. And that's the round. Shake it out. Stretch those shoulders. Stretch the quads. We are beating the fat out of you. Burning calories. Killing your excuses. You can see you don't need any equipment to do this workout. You don't need any space. Hydrate. That's the time. We're getting our drinks right here. You should be sipping on those. Herbal Lifeline right here. Prepare leftover tea, beverage mix to save your muscle BCAA. Salute to Herbal Life. So as you can see, you don't need any equipment. You don't even need gloves. You don't need a heavy bag. You don't need space. I am soaking, dripping sweat here during this workout. And I'm only hitting the bag once in a while just for the hell of it. You could do this workout, you could do any workout and get crazy results in an empty elevator if you needed to. It's just a matter of putting in the right effort, having the right attitude, and getting the right coaching and guidance. And that's what this is all about. You could make this happen right here online from your home, from anywhere in the world. Think about it. You're traveling, you're on vacation, you're out of town, you're on a business trip. You could have peak right in the palm of your hands, right in your pocket. Anywhere in the world, you could just pop open your phone and follow along for a live workout or catch one of the recordings and get a crazy, sick workout with zero equipment required half the time. And whenever there is equipment required, it's very minimal to no equipment where you can also make tons of substitutions with stuff around the house. So there's no excuses for not getting it done. Doesn't matter lockdowns, gyms aren't open, whatever it is, does not matter. You will not get any better results than what you're following right here on the Peak Freak Workouts. Let's get rolling. We're going to hit some sprints. So check it out. We're going to go fast feet to straight punches. So fast feet is just here with your feet eight times. One with your five, seven, eight, and then just in your stance for sprinting for, for four straight punches. So it's eight fast, or sorry, you're doing six fast feet, four straight punches. One, two, three, five, six, four. Let's do it. You're on the bag if you have it. Just doing the air with me. If you don't, going in three, two, one, bam, let's roll. Fast feet for six, four straight. Fast feet for six, fast feet for six, four straight. Fast feet, hop it. Ooh, I did five for fun. Fast feet. Hop those toes running on coals. And then four straight punches. Fast feet. Couple more. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Pop, 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 pop. Next is 
going to be four lateral hops. You're going to go either double leg or single leg bounding. You adjust for what you need to, the way your knees and hips are. I'm going to go double leg. So I'm just literally going to be here. Lateral hops for four and then sprinting for four hooks right after that. If you want to go bounding, single leg, you could just be here and spring across for four. I'll try both ways. Double leg, single leg. We're going in three. We're going in two. One. Boom. So four hops. Four hooks. Four hops. Four hooks. You can try single leg on the hops. Get back to your stance though. For those four hooks. Double leg for the hops, a little shorter distance. Single leg a little wider bound. Get into your stance. Double leg. Single. Double. Couple more of each. Double. One more of each. Single. Ha, 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 ha. Double. Stance. Boom, 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 boom. Time. Shake it out. Coming up is going to be speed jacks with sprint uppercuts. Speed jacks for four uppercuts. For four. So let me show you speed jacks are real quick while you catch your breath because you should be going all out on these. You should be toasted after each one of these sets. If you're not, you're not pushing this off hard enough. I'm in fairly decent shape and I can't hardly catch my breath. So you're going speed jacks. Speed jacks are ha a regular jumping jack would be arms straight, feet wide, hands touching way over your head, and then back together. Speed jack, the elbow is going to stay bent, the elbow is just going to tap your ribs, your feet are only going to go halfway the distance apart, and your hands are going to touch right above your head when your feet go half distance apart. So it's just pop, 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 four. They look silly, you look like a weirdo, but guess what? We don't care. I'd rather look like a weirdo doing this with you than sitting on the couch making fun of the person that looks like a weirdo doing this with you, if you can follow that along. All right, let's do it. Four speed jacks, then sprint for four uppercuts. I don't care if you go left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left, does not freaking matter. Let's go in three, two, one, and ha. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hop it. Notice I'm not talking much. This round because you need to put in some freaking work. Fast pace. A few more, come on. Let's roll. Get your waist into those uppercuts. Short choppy jacks. Four hard uppercuts. Push yourself. Time. Shake it out. Shake it out. So all this cardio, exercise we did after the rounds, we're gonna add one on, we're gonna do all four of those straight in a row. That was the, remember, mountain climber to run punch, squat thrust to plank and punch, plank jack to plank and punch, and we're gonna add in, we're just gonna stick with those three, we're gonna stick with those three since that's all we got to. We don't wanna add another new one here. I don't want you to have to overthink it. We're just gonna rotate between those three. So 30 seconds in a row of each of those, back to back. Let's do it, starting with four mountain climbers, four run and punch, 30 seconds, going in three, two, one, roll! Four climbers, come up, four run and punch, four climb,
We'll run a punch. Down there and climb. Into squat thrust to plank and punch going in three, two, one, go. Squat thrust, plank and punch. Hands to the guard at the top. Plank jacks for two, to jack and punch for two. Right away, three, two, one, go. Squat down, jump back, two jack, plank jack, come in, two jack and punch. Finish strong here. Two jack, plank jack, come up. Almost there, we're almost done, push through. Punch. Down. Jump back. Two. Plank jack. Jump. In. And up. Jack. And punch. Two more. Come on. Two more. Last one. And high. All right, freaks. We're going to stretch this out to make sure you're recovered. It was a lot of work. Upper body, lower body, moving around, bouncing. Nice work, freak. Nice work. All right, listen. Pull that arm across. Stretch your shoulder and just hold it there for 30 to 45 seconds. Whew. Keep holding that. Now listen. Hold that while I'm talking. If this didn't show you, if this didn't prove to you, what is capable with absolutely zero equipment with just a little jolt of external motivation to help you get your own internal motivation to push yourself, to press yourself, to make this shit happen with absolutely no space, no equipment. If this won't do it for you, nothing will. I'm telling you, you don't even need a physical location. Of course, it's all fun. We get together in person in the gym. We have a couple different extra pieces of equipment you could use then. Well, let me tell you. I've been working out with pretty much zero equipment for the last five months. And literally, the older I get, the grayer I get, the better shape I get in. Just from pushing through these workouts on this channel. That's it. Following the peak coaches, doing them live, teaching these sessions to you. And listen, I'm teaching them, so I'm talking. You're, and, I'm, and I'm dying, you're doing even more than me on these sessions. And it just shows you what you're capable of, what is you're capable of doing with no space. So if you wanna try the free week of unlimited, imagine having this available to you every day, not just to follow along like you're doing here on Facebook, but actually live on Zoom, on video conference, where we could see you and coach you and correct you and give you guidance and help, literally modifications with cues and corrections, how to do things the right way where actually I could see you personally in a group setting. There's even available in one-on-one, -on -one, which is even a higher level, where you could see you one-on-one -on -one and coach you right here virtually. Doesn't get better than that. Doesn't matter if you're not in person. It does not get any better than that. We will hook you up 
We will make it happen. Whether it's in a group setting, a one-on-one -on -one setting. On top of that, if you need to take it to even the next level, we have one-on-one -on -one private accountability coaches for the coaching for your mind, your body, your business to help you have structure, motivation, discipline, and most importantly, accountability. Literally on a daily basis, daily interaction personally with me to help you out in your MBB, the mind body business. So if you need help in any of those areas, just set, put a message below or just contact me privately. We will hook you up with the, with the fitness training, with the live training out here on the uh, free week. Or if you want that next level personal training for fitness, we do one-on-one -on -one private training. And then also the MBB mind body business accountability coaching. That is our highest level of one-on-one -on -one coaching available to help you in all freaking areas of your life. Personally, professionally, mentally, physically, emotionally, we will help you get to the next level and help you survive all these crazy times because that's what you need to be doing right now is not just thinking, all right, I need to make through this. I need to sit out and weigh this out. This shit just keeps going on and on and on. Things just keep getting crazier and crazier and worse and worse. You need to be able to deal with this. You need to know how to handle this, how to maintain your discipline and more importantly, maintain your freaking character throughout these crazy times because I'm sure you've seen on the internet, on Facebook, Twitter, forget about it. The stuff that's this, the, the quarantine and pandemics and all this other stuff, it's bringing out people, it's showing the ugliest sides of people. It's making the nasty even nastier. It's making the good bad. It's making the great just mediocre. Don't let that happen to you. Let your decisions develop the situation. Don't let the situation develop your decisions. If you need any help with anything, have any questions, send me a private message, just comment below. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Oh, maybe you want to add something to that. I have a feeling Tyson might want to tell you something. No excuses! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. No excuses, no excuses speak freaks.